Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to the next part of the Hot Addicts Alliance and the theme for this month was reflections but before I get into that, last month I was holding the competition to give away the piece, the original piece and the winner is Nazreen so please message me um, I will reply back to your comment on that video just to let you know that you've won but yeah, please message me and we'll get it all sorted to send out your prize um, for this month's theme, I, again, I really struggled. I don't know why, but the last two months I've just really struggled coming up with an idea or making my idea work, which was more the case for this one, for the Alliance pieces. So I'm hoping next month will be a breeze through for me, and but we'll have to wait and see, which, speaking of, the link to the poll will be in the description below as usual. Um, but yeah I actually originally tried doing this piece on a big like as a bigger piece in acrylics but I just it was not working and I was trying to paint on to it's like mount board so really really thick card like it kind of cross between card and cardboard but it just didn't agree with the acrylics and it kept going wrong and I just had to give up on that and move on but I really liked the concept I had for the piece still so I decided to draw it smaller back onto my Canson Bristol board and got the markers out didn't all end up staying in just markers it was actually this became a mixed media piece but oh well that's the development of art <laughs> um, I really wanted to try and have this piece connect with me on a personal level and Originally I was going to add a little bit more detail but I thought I didn't want to take away from the overall look of how it came across at the end. Um, but the main idea was a girl that was based off of myself floating in water which was rather difficult to do with, with markers, especially markers that are running out of ink. So it took a lot of layers of greys and blues and I had a mix of like green greys, blue greys, cool grey and I realised I really need to replace a lot of my markers but that, that'll come with time and I ended up having to go over the background with ink, my Winter and Newton ink just to get that colour that I wanted but I'm glad I persevered with it because there was a few times doing this again it was the background it just really took a lot out of me and I really struggled to do it but I kind of wanted to fight that challenge in a way just to push myself because I, as a lot of you know I don't normally do backgrounds and I mean some of my original ideas for this piece was to go with my standard like a white background and I was going to do a reflection in a camera lens or something like that something linked to YouTube maybe but I thought this one it was more a reflection of the sky on water as she's floating along with flowers floating on top of the water so the reflections part is more of the sky and it's like just reflecting back on things that have happened in my life and the main one was I wanted to reflect back to my son and I was going to do forget-me-nots but because the background was blue I didn't want to do the blue forget-me-nots and the snowdrops which is his flower wouldn't have really worked so I had to go with white forget-me-nots but it still it worked I'm happy with how it turned out even though I must have spent about three or four hours on just doing the acrylic version of this which I then ended up scrapping and then another two or so hours just doing the background so this has been a labour of love um, but finally I'm happy pretty much with how the end piece turned out so that's, a, that's the main thing um, I think anyway going on to Alliance stuff and everyone else's work I think it's Dory this month giving away her work so please don't forget to go on over to check out her video along with everyone else's and all of their channels will be linked in the description box below as well um, but yeah, I, what's been going on? I posted the gender reveal so now you know that we're having a little boy and yeah I hope you liked the video I said in that that it did take me 
I didn't do the idea that I wanted originally but I'm happy with how that one was anyway so it still got it across um, but yeah so now it's a lot easier to talk about the baby because I announced that it's a boy and his name will be Ben so yeah that's a it was a bit of a shock when we found out it was a boy but I also kind of partly knew but anyway back to the artwork um, when I was doing the skin for this piece it was I really struggled doing the face because normally it was a slightly different angle than I'm normally used to drawing because I wanted her head to be tilted back a little and getting the lighting and the shading right I mean it's not perfect as it is anyway but that was a new challenge for me as well so this piece really challenged me in a lot of different ways um, I don't know it was just sometimes the marker and my pencil crayons didn't want to work together even though I haven't normally had that problem before and it was I found myself with this piece especially I'm finding I keep battling with my art supplies and I don't know if it's just because I need to spend more time with them because I've not been using them for a while or I, don't, I honestly don't know what but all I just feel lately is every single piece I do especially the Alliance ones I tend to be battling with my art supplies whether it's what I'm doing it on like the first time I tried this it was the paper that I was using or this time I felt I was battling against the markers and I, I, I think it's my markers are quite old so that doesn't help um, but I wonder, do any of you ever have this problem where you just find you have a period of time where you're just battling not against ideas it's battling against the art supplies you have like they either won't work how you want them to even though you've used them that way before or like they're not reacting a certain way which you used to something like that maybe because this is a I've, I've had battles with art supplies before but it's always been like a new supply that I've not used and this is ones I use regularly like the marker and pencil crayon combination that's all of my horn girl pieces pretty much have been done with those so I don't know why it's become a struggle on this piece especially um, if any of you have any ideas why it could be then please let me know but yeah um, I guess there's not much left to say um, the techniques on this yeah, I, I don't even know. I just went for it and fought hard against the paper or the ink. But I think the bit I'm most proud of, other than the face, is the showing the water depth, especially around the hair, like with the highlights and shadows. I'm really happy with how that turned out. I think that's probably my favourite part of how it turned out on the whole piece. But. I don't really have a lot else to say for the video so I hope you enjoy the artwork please again don't forget to go and check out everyone else's pieces for the Art Addicts Alliance and I will see you in the next video bye I just assumed I'd play the part of keeping you direction No matter how your confidence may fall I'll be here as your foundation And I say hey I'll just let it go Your struggles won't
apart to rebuild you one more time And I say, hey, I'll yeah, oh, just let it go Your struggles won't remain And I say, hey, I'll oh, we're holding hope And wake up yesterday So hold on to me Hold on to me Hold on